young men and women your own. You forgave them all their sins and brought them to newness of life. Continue to strengthen them with the Holy Spirit and daily increase in them your gifts of grace, spirit of wisdom and understanding, spirit of counsel and might, spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord, the spirit of joy in your presence. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Well, let's celebrate with them by our applause once again, shall we?
of their uh, preparation for confirmation, and that was to write a faith statement. And, and so this is an excerpt uh, of their faith statement. Uh, their creations uh, of artistry were much uh, larger and broader than what they're going to share with you today. But what we're asking uh, them today is to share those ancient words, those Holy Scripture passages that they picked as their confirmation verse, and why that was important to them. So we'll invite you.
My name is Cody McKesson. My Bible verse is Matthew 10, 33. It says that whoever shall deny me before my whoever shall deny me before men, I am will also die before my Father which is in heaven. This Bible verse applies to me because I like to spread my faith and I'm not afraid to tell people about the Word of God. I am glad to live in a country where I can openly express my religion. A kid would shop saying you can kill me, but I will not deny my Savior which is in heaven, for he has saved me. I am not afraid that you may kill me, but I will not deny my father. Hearing this story will be this much of a My name is Christina Novi. My favorite Bible verse is Philippians 4.13, which reads, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. It gives me the courage to take the forward against a tough volleyball team and the motivation to wake up early on a Monday morning. This verse gives me the hope and to accomplish my future dreams. My name is Miguel Strat, one of my confirmation verse comes from John 13, 7. It is Jesus replied, You do not realize what I am doing, but later you will understand. Although I don't understand why many things will happen in my life, eventually I will. I have learned to trust in my Savior, and He does not want to bring me despair, but sometimes despair is a side effect. It's a side effect of the great things the Lord has in store for me. In many Bible stories, the people have to go completely against what everyone is telling them, telling them to trust in God that things will be okay. They don't understand why God is telling them to do these things, but as time goes on, they eventually learn why they're doing this task and how important it was that they trusted God even when it felt difficult or near impossible. They used their faith to believe that He would protect them, as I have to do also. My name is Raymond Thompson. I picked Proverbs 3 5 because it's a, great, it's a great verse to live by. It's great because it ensures that God will make the right decisions for you. It says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, you not acknowledge Him and He will make your path straight. I feel that God's plan for you will follow His path. I'm Braxton Thompson, and my confirmation verse I chose is Jeremiah 29 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and future. God will be walking with me and guiding me along my way. My name is Sadie Thompson, and I chose the Bible verse, Jeremiah 29 11, which states, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Because even though we don't always see it, God always has a plan for us, and when times are tough, and when we are asking ourselves why God did this to us, and what did I do to deserve this, we don't see what God is doing, but He is creating our plan. Well, let's uh, thank them for sharing their confirmation verses with us and uh, their reasons why that verse is important to them, shall we?
Stir up and madden the gift of your Holy Spirit. Confirm her faith, guide her life. Empower her in her serving. Give her patience in suffering and bring her to everlasting life. Amen. Let us receive and celebrate with each compliment using the words as printed in your bulletin. Let us rejoice with Madeline, our sister in Christ. We rejoice with you in the life of baptism. Together we will give thanks and praise to God and proclaim the good news to all the world.
Stir up in Levi the gift of your Holy Spirit. Confirm his faith, guide his life, empower him in his serving, give him patience and suffering, and bring him to everlasting life. Amen. Let us rejoice with Levi, our brother in Christ. Rejoice with you in the life of baptism. Together we will give thanks and praise to God and proclaim the good news to all the world.
his serving, give him patience and suffering, and bring him to everlasting life. Amen. Let us rejoice with Braden, our brother in Christ. We rejoice with you in the life of baptism. Together we will give thanks and praise to God and proclaim the good news to all the world. Now will Elmer Ashton come forward and be gathered with his family and friends who are already here. Anybody else? Let us pray. Father in heaven, for Jesus' sake, stir up in Braxton the gift of your Holy Spirit. Confirm his faith, guide his life, empower him in his serving. Give him patience and suffering, and bring him to everlasting life. Amen. Let us rejoice with Braxton, our brother in Christ. We rejoice with you in the life of baptism. Together we will give thanks and praise to God.